Panthers, I'm Zara Jacobs and welcome back to another edition of Claw News. For a happy start to today's broadcast, we're going to be learning about all of the positive silver linings that have come out of this not so positive situation. With the coronavirus outbreak spreading negativity nationwide, it is important that we stay positive and look at the bright side of things or find the silver linings. Let's go see some of our teachers and students at PHMS spread some positivity as they tell us about some of the happier things that have come out of our current situation. Hi Panthers, this is Mrs. Gilson. Just wanted to say hi, check in with y'all. One of the silver linings I've found about working from home is that I get to work with my puppies every day. They're kind of my helpers. Um, they do take lots of naps, but they still seem to want to always be right beside me, checking y'all's work seeing what's going on with our e-learning. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I really wish we were returning for some school days before the end of the year, but that just wasn't in the plan. Y'all have a great rest of the year. Bye. So my silver lining is getting extra kitty time. Here's this little guy. It's his silver lining too. And then, let me see. I can show the other one hiding right here. Oh, uh, hi. Nothing better than cuddling with your little pets. But I miss all of you guys at school too. Hi Panthers, uh, I definitely miss you. Um, so some positives that have come out of of all of this have been I've got to spend a lot of time with my family and my little boy. I definitely enjoyed getting to have this extra time with him. Um, that's been a blessing and my husband and my dog. Um, and then even getting to see family um, from up north that I don't normally get to see. Um, we did a conference call for Easter and we did um, a breakfast morning coffee call with my aunt. It's, it's been, um, even though we've had that, the social distancing, it's been great still having that opportunity to still get to see everybody. Um, I will say this has definitely been the best part of my day, getting just to be with that one. Um, I miss you guys. Talk to you guys very soon. Hi, I'm Sasha, and my favorite part of quarantine has been my birthday, when all of my friends drove by my house to wish me happy birthday. Another nice part of quarantine has been e-learning because I can get all of my assignments done on my own time. And my family's been spending a lot of time together, which is awesome. So although quarantine is not ideal, there are many benefits that you can enjoy. Thank you. Now, while during these times it may be a little bit harder to look at the glass half full, it is still very important that you continue to spread positivity to yourself and those around you. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. I'm Zara Jacobs.
Carly Nagib, and this week I'll be talking to you about engineering. Next year, some classes are renaming or changing up a little bit in the technology classes. You're probably asking what it is, so here is Ms. Aryan Poor explaining a little more about it. Hi Panthers, it's Ms. Aryan Poor, a technology teacher at Pioneer, and I wanted to tell you about some of the class changes that are going to be happening next year. The first change is in the sixth grade program. It'll be full year. It'll be called Academy Connect. Then the multimedia video production class will be changing to something called Digital Communications. And the third change is going to be to the robotics program. As you may or may not know, there's no strictly robotics class in the high school curriculum. The STEM classes have two branches. One includes computer science and the other includes engineering. The current robotics class does combine some of the coding aspects of computer science and some of the engineering aspects as it relates to the robots. However, we don't have a full engineering curriculum. So next year, we're going to be incorporating more of the engineering projects into our classroom. The students are starting to do this a little bit at home with our e-learning program. They're doing home engineering projects. And some of the things that we've seen this year have just been really, really amazing. And I'm really, really proud of the work the students have done. Thank you, Ms. Aryan Poor. That sounds so fun for the next year to come. I wonder how some students feel about it. So now let's go check out some students and what they like about it. My name is Nathan Rhodes Klingo, and here I have four catapults that I have created out of popsicle sticks. And this one's the least efficient, and this one's the most efficient. Also, as you can see, the complexity increases as the efficiency increases. So let's go. Hello, my name is Nathan Rhodes Klingo, and I'm gonna test out the four catapults that I made. And I'm gonna use red clips to mark the initial place where it landed after launch. And I'm gonna use the same amount of force on each catapult so I don't have an extra variable. So for the first catapult, I, I didn't use that many sticks so I, because I wanted a small trajectory angle and it doesn't go that far. You can see it right here. And the second one, I used more sticks for a bigger trajectory angle as I thought this would be, be like really good, but it wasn't that good. Maybe it goes a little bit better right here. And the next one requires a lot of effort to like, to launch and it wasn't that good because it only goes just better, like a little bit. It was like right here, I think. And the last one is the most efficient. It's probably the most ideal to use. And this is what I saw in most of the time videos. And it goes. The most efficient out of all of them. That's all I have for this week. Thank you for joining me. I'm Carly Nagy. Our PHMS Spanish students would like to share some tips on maintaining healthy habits. Do you think you can translate what they're saying? Let's check it out. <laughs> Cada día hago ejercicio por 20 minutos en mi casa porque quiero ser en buena forma. Por una hora toco mis instrumentos porque soy muy talentoso y no quiero usar mi teléfono mucho.
tres veces al día, como la comida porque uh, comida sana porque tengo hambre. Muchas veces bebo agua porque es muy sano. Tres veces de semana voy a la iglesia virtual porque no puedo ir a la iglesia y no quiero estar enfermo. Cada día duermo ocho horas o más porque estoy muy cansada. Por 30 minutos hago ejercicio con mi hermana en mi casa porque es sano. Por una hora uso mi celular porque quiero hablar con mis amigos. Muchas veces me lavo las manos en el baño porque necesito comer comida. Cada día me divierto en mi casa porque puedo jugar juegos con mi familia. Hey Panthers, I'm Rashid Busu and today we're going to be discussing the alternate ways FIC is going to be providing graduation for 8th and 12th graders during these tough times. Although the 8th graders will be greatly affected, they can still look forward to their high school graduation during their senior year, but I'm afraid that's not the case for a class of 2020. This was their last chance to see all their friends and teachers that helped them get this far. Nonetheless, our school board is still working very hard to make this moment special for them. drive through graduation ceremonies are among the options for school ISD considering for its graduating senior class, according to Superintendent Mike Waldrop. If the plan for drive through graduations drive through ceremonies falls through, Plan C involves a virtual graduation ceremony for each high school, Waldrop said. Now let's hear the opinions of some of our fellow Panthers and what they have to say about all of this. So we were supposed to have our 8th grade graduation at school, but because of like corona and the quarantine and everything, we can't really do that because then that'll be too much like health hazards and like we all have to stay home and that's fine. It, it's just like it really sucks because we don't get to have an actual graduation and like open our time capsule letters that we wrote in 6th grade. I was really looking forward to opening them and also I just really wanted to be with my friends because it's our last year in middle school before we go to high school and that's like a really big step toward our futures and everything and also I'm just really gonna miss like all my teachers and everything and I really just really want to see them and the last week of school is supposed to be like the most fun time of the year but I think we're probably just gonna like have a graduation at home and it's fine because we're still connecting with everyone but I just wish we were at school. Um, so due to corona, the rest of school was canceled and honestly, I never thought I would say this, but I miss school like a lot. I miss seeing my classmates and I miss seeing my teachers and it's really sad to think about because I was really looking forward to the end of the year and I was looking forward to our eighth grade graduation and like opening our time capsules from sixth grade and there's just so much fun stuff that we were going to do at the end of the year that we didn't do in sixth and seventh grade so it's just really disappointing about that and another sad thing is that none of us really knew it was going to be like our last day at Pioneer and we never thought that we were going to be coming back so it's really disappointing thinking about that because I really can't say goodbye to all my old teachers and all my seventh grade friends all my other friends and personally
personally, I'm going to Reedy and a lot of my friends are going to Frisco, so I really can't say goodbye to them either, and that's just really sad to think about. But, I mean, it is what it is, and we have to take measures to stay safe. Due to the recent outbreak, we're all stuck at home, and because of this, we can't celebrate our 8th grade graduation. I know I was really looking forward to this because I wanted to say goodbye to all my teachers and all my friends that are going to different schools because I'll really miss them. I, will, I also wanted to spend the last few days of middle school in school because those were the most fun. Quarantine made me realize how much I actually enjoyed school because you got to socialize and hang out with all your friends. But safety is the most important and we should take all the measures we can to make sure the coronavirus doesn't spread. We still have a graduation though, even if it's online, so I'm thankful for that. Graduation is still graduation, in school or out. Due to Corona, we won't be able to have our normal graduation and spend time with the with our friends for the last week of middle school. And I understand that there's Corona, so we have to social distance and do online school and stay at home because it's, it's for the safety of us and others. It still really sucks though, because I was really looking forward to spending time with my friends and making more memories. And I really wanted to say bye to all my teachers because I'll miss them so much when we go to high school. And after three years of middle school, I really wanted it to be special for our last week and just spend time with my friends and make memories that I'll forever remember. And it still really sucks, but I understand. And when we do have our graduation, even if it is online, it will still be good because we'll be still communicating with all our friends and teachers and still be having fun and we'll still be making memories even if it's online. This is my daughter Brooke uh, Deaton. She's going to Lebanon Trail High School. She's a senior. How did the uh, coronavirus and uh, quarantine affect your senior year? Well, it was a good couple months that I did get to experience with my friends. Um, but it does stink to have my prom and powder puff and the baccalaureate, I think that's how you say it, taken away from me um, and my friends too. Because we did look forward to the that, like growing up and like, you know, trying on prom dresses and stuff. And we don't even know if we get a graduation. Hopefully it's not online or a drive through. But um, yeah, I advise that um, you don't take your senior year for granted. And that's all. Thank you, Brookster. Hello Pioneer Panthers, this is Jack Pruitt, um, this is Pruitt's son. Today I'm going to be telling you about how the coronavirus has affected my senior year at Reedy High School. First of all, it has affected us through prom. Uh, prom is a big deal in high school because it's something that everyone gets to experience and sadly we don't, so I'll be missing this. Uh, second of all, uh, sports at Reedy High School. Um, it's unfair that we have worked this hard and come this far and didn't, didn't be able to continue our baseball season. And lastly, um, graduation. Um, we're not even sure what we're going to be doing with graduation yet. And it's, it's sad that we won't get to walk a stage. I'm also going to miss my teachers, coaches, and students not being able to see them every day. Uh, just teaches you not to take anything for granted. Have a great day, Panthers. Remember to love yourself, your family, your teachers and friends, and cherish every moment you can. Thank you for all those great responses. I hope everyone is staying safe. I'm Rashid Busu with your graduation segment. experiencing a global health crisis in the coronavirus pandemic. This is a challenging and unsettling time for those who love and cherish college basketball. It has resulted in the cancellation of NCAA basketball championships, an empty month that would have been filled with excitement and intrigue. Sadly, a total of 132 men's games and 81 women's games were never played. The disappointment we all feel for student athletes that are unable to compete is significant. Yet nothing is ever more important than the health and safety of our student athletes, coaches, and fans. 
The NCAA is trying to organize next year's bracket, but this is difficult to do as they try to balance the games without a complete season of information. Hi, what's your opinion on March Madness being canceled? Well, I'm actually really sad that March Madness got canceled because I like to watch the tournament every year. I like to see which players might make it to the NBA. And I think it's really sad that those players put in all of that time and effort and training and practice to go through their season and not be able to play the uh, tournament. I think it was the first time ever that the tournament's been canceled. I'm not sure if that's true, but it, I think it's true. And uh, it's just sad because especially for the seniors, they didn't get to play in their uh, senior tournament and uh, kind of have that memory to last them a lifetime. And, uh, but I understand why they had to shut it down because with COVID-19, they couldn't allow any uh, teams to practice and they couldn't allow games to go on. So even though they had to cancel it, um, I understand they had to cancel it, but it is sad because I like to get with my friends and fill out a bracket every year and uh, you know watch the games and see who wins and see who gets crowned champion. So it's kind of sad. Thank you. This will all be figured out by next season. And we are all excited for next year's March Madness. To make sure that we can have the next year's March Madness, please stay inside and stay safe. Hello Panthers, I'm Eloise Paiviki. Being stuck in your house is never fun, but there are so many things to do if you really think about it. One thing I know many people have been entertaining themselves with is TikTok. TikTok is an app where you can make fun videos with different sounds. You can post videos of you lip syncing or dancing for all your friends to see. Recently, lots of people have been super active on it because TikTok is very enjoyable and can get your mind off being stuck in quarantine. Not only have students been using the app recently, but teachers at Pioneer have been posting fun videos of themselves as well. I think it really puts a smile on students' faces to see what their fellow teachers have been up to. Let's go check out what some teachers at Pioneer like about TikTok. Hey guys, it's Miss Aguilar. So I got asked about how I've been using TikTok and during this kind of shelter in place time. And the answer in a short little nugget, too much. Um, I've been TikToking, I don't even know if that's a thing but way too much. I have a lot of downtime. Um, I like making them. Uh, I'm not good at making a lot of the fun, really elaborate dances. Some of the easy kind of couple of step dances, those I can do and I'm really good at those. Uh, Miss Rogers and Miss Cooper and I, we've been having a lot of fun making dances and we'll duet them and we'll like duet each other's so that way we can have like all three of us in the same video uh, so that's been really fun I know coach Marshall and coach Bennett have been um, doing their quarantine coach TikToks I got to do that with them so that was really cool um, and I know they've got some other really great teachers that have volunteered to do that with them um, I like the music challenge ones where it's like you know you know this song. I'll stop the TikTok, save the sound so I can go back and make them. That's really fun. Those are kind of my favorite ones to do. Um, I actually just did the Princess Diaries one where she's like, the queen is coming. That's just been my favorite scene in that whole movie. So I had a lot of fun doing that one. It was only like 10 seconds long, but it was still a lot of fun. So that's kind of how I've been using TikTok is just having fun making them and being silly. Uh, and connecting with teachers, friends, family, all of that. Bye guys. I love that they are enjoying TikTok. Make sure you're having internet safety when joining social media. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for joining me. I'm Eloise Paivicki. Hi Panthers, I'm Hannah Davidson. While we're all stuck at home, we were supposed to hold our Teacher Appreciation Week. Teacher Appreciation Week is all about thanking our teachers for all that they do for us. I know all our teachers are working hard to make sure that we understand everything that we're learning right now. Since we can't 
can't always show how much we appreciate them. It's important to remember all that they do for us. Since Teacher Appreciation Week is all about thanking our teachers, we should recognize that we are all going through tough times right now. And our teachers are continuing to give us new work and keep us learning new things every day. Ms. Pellubicki and Ms. Blumstrom are parents of students at Pioneer and are going to share a little bit about Teacher Appreciation Week. One of the challenges I think we've come to learn through having the kids home and e-learning the teachers must face constantly in the classroom is uh, an ability of the kids to focus and to maintain their attention spans, especially with electronics these days. I think it's proving more and more difficult to keep them on track. Very thankful that you guys do what you do and that through this e-learning, you've kept them off their electronics as much as you have. Thank you. I have learned during quarantine that one of the challenges the teachers face is keeping their students engaged while e-learning. I know that a lot of time goes into planning the lessons that you give out to the students and I really appreciate all that you guys do. It is important to remember how much our teachers do for us. Maybe even write an email to one of your teachers talking about how much you value them. I'm sure they will appreciate it so much. Thank you for your time. I'm Hannah Davidson. Hello Panthers, I'm Laura Davila Seal. Since school is canceled for the rest of the year, you'll be spending most of your time with your family. To strengthen your relationship with your family, this segment we will let you know about some board games that our fellow Panthers enjoy playing. Sienna Evans is an 8th grade student here at Pioneer and she'll be telling us some of her favorite board games to play with her family. Hi, my name is Sienna Evans. I'm an 8th grader at PHMS and some of my favorite games to play during this quarantine include Old Maid. Old Maid is a card matching game where you try and get two of a kind by stealing cards from other players. Um, the player at the end left with the Old Maid card is the loser and it's really fun to play and super easy to catch on to. Um, my next favorite game is the Yoga Spinner. It's really fun and you don't need many people to play and while also being able to get like exercise and flexibility in, what you do is you spin the wheel and you'll get a colored and you'll do whatever the colored card says. And the player at the end who has one of each colored card is the winner. And then my last favorite game to play is the Game of Life. Um, the Game of Life, I'm sure all of you have played. What you do is you have a car and you go through this board game of deciding like life choices like kids, married, college, and the player at the end left with the most money is the winner. Next up, we have Miss Adams. She's a seventh grade history teacher at PHMS and will also be telling us some of her favorite board games she likes to play with her family. Hey Panthers, it's Miss Elms here. I was asked to show some of my favorite board games that we play at my house. So I have four for you here today. Here is my first one. It is called Ticket to Ride. And um, it's really, really fun. I know it's really popular, so some of y'all have probably played it. Um, but it's very, very easy to learn and you really don't have to think a whole lot. So that one's really fun. Then these next two are fun if you're playing with just you and another person or a small group or something. Um, this one's called, I think it's called Hanabi. Um, and you actually work together. It's a card game where you work together with the person you're playing with, which is kind of fun. Usually you're against them, but y'all work together. Um, and then we really like Monopoly Deal. That's another game that we play a lot. Um, and that's fun. That can easily be a two person game. It's not near as long as real Monopoly. And then my last one that I actually got for Christmas is, it's called Sushi Go. You can see this is the party size, so there's more to do. Or you can get just plain old Sushi Go, and we have that too. And that's another card game um, that's really, really fun to play. So maybe that will give you some good ideas to play on this quarantine. Miss you guys, bye. Thank you, Miss Elms and Tiana. To add to those great recommendations, here's some more great board games that you might enjoy. Wits and Wagers, Sorry, Clue, Monopoly, Apples to Apples, Jenga, Uno, Pictionary, Memory Match, and Werewolves. Hopefully this will keep you and your family entertained during quarantine. 
I'm Laura D'Alessio. Now, before we end today's broadcast, we all wanted to wish our principal, Mr. Agin, a very happy birthday with many more to come. We all hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time with another edition of Claw News. Panther Nation, Panther Pride. Thank you.